Another skill you want to have as a CAD technician is to be able to batch plot, and that is to plot several different layout tabs as one document. In this video, I'll show you how to batch plot to a PDF so that you get one document and you don't have to stitch them together later on using Adobe software. Batch plotting in AutoCAD will allow me to plot my model space tab and or all of my uh, paper space tabs in one fell swoop. In fact, I'll have the option to choose which tabs I want to plot. So it gives me the ability to plot all of them and include all of those tabs into one document, whereas if I plot them individually, they'll all be separate documents. To access the batch plotting command, what you want to do is go to the menu browser in the top left hand corner, come down here to print, and then choose the black batch plot utility right here. You'll see that this print plot utility looks different from the regular one. And it's based on the fact that all of my tabs down here already have plot styles associated with them. So if I look now, it says, uh, for example, I'm going to publish these as a PDF. <clears throat> and that's all I get. I get DWF or PDF. I'm going to leave it as a PDF. Um, there is the option there to send it to a plotter named in the page setup. but in my page setup, I have those all set to PDF, so it's still gonna be the same. Um, it asks me if I want to you know, choose all open drawings. If I had more than one drawing open here, they would all be listed here. So I could plot several drawings at once if I needed to and put them all into one document, which makes it kind of nice. Now, if I look at this right here where it says publish options and choose this, you'll see that there's some things here like where is it going to send this when I plot it? <clears throat> um, do I want to you know, prompt me for the name? Do I want to allow a multi-sheet file? Yes, I do. Okay, so if you want all of these different pages to be separate, you would uncheck this box. But if I want all my pages to be one document, you're gonna make sure that that box is checked. Again, vector quality and raster image quality is important. Um, if you want to, you can come down here and you can include layer information and that kind of stuff. However, if you want to flatten this document, you can uncheck this so that the layer information from your drawing is not included in that PDF. Uh, some, some municipalities don't want all that layer information, so they'll say that they want them flattened. Uh, that flattened PDF means that they're taking that layer information out. You could also include or exclude hyperlinks and bookmarks and that kind of stuff. I'm going to leave the layer information in here just for now so that you can see what happens when we actually plot it. Then I can come down here and I can say, okay, what do I want to include in this batch plot? And in this case, I want the landscaping plan, the site plan, and maybe some building dimensions, but I don't want this one here. So I'll just right click on this and I'll say remove it from that list. Now from here, it's just kind of giving me some overview down here. If I want to include a plot stamp, I can do that here. Um, this is a good idea when you're publishing something that has multi-sheets. You do want to publish in the background because it sometimes can take several minutes to finish a publish because you're publishing maybe several documents at once. And if you don't check that box, it kind of locks up your AutoCAD and you can't do anything while it's working. So I'm going to make sure that that's set here and then I'll choose publish. It's going to ask me where I want to send it to. So I'm going to send this down to my, uh, I'm going to put this in my downloads folder just because I know that's where it is and I can find it easy. And then uh, it says, do you want to save the current list of sheets, which was these right here? I'm going to say, no, I didn't need to save that. And so now what it's doing is it's actually plotting in the background and it gives me this little message here. I'll choose close. So now I'm free to continue working and you'll see that if you look down here in the bottom right hand corner, there's this little icon right here that looks like it a little icon and it just finished as I tapped on it. So it's saying, hey, it's done. So now that it's done, I can actually go to my downloads folder and I can open up that file that I just plotted. Um, which is right here. This one here. So no, notice that it's not just that first page, but it's the other pages as well. A second page, okay, and a third page. So I've pl plotted them all as one document. And if I were to come over here and look at some of these, you know, I've got that, I've got my uh, I've got the layer list in here somewhere. These are all the layers and I can come in and turn them on and off as necessary. So you can see what's in the drawing and what's not in the drawing. So 
It's a great tool. You need to be able to make sure that you know how to batch plot anytime you're working in AutoCAD. Thanks for watching.